it's heading our way. I'm underneath the boat port. It's blowing out of the northeast, big time rain, and uh, it was just gusting to probably 50 miles an hour. I know you can't see much. The biggest deal for me is I'm always worried about trees. Last year on October, with Hurricane Matthew, that was a category two, that was right off our coast, I think about 55 miles. These trees up here, let's see if I can get a shot of them. It's dark. Nah, you, you're not gonna be able to see them. I'm gonna have to wait. I got a tree right over here that fell right here. This is the side of my garage. And then of course, there's my sliding rear door. And then right up here, it smashed right through into the kitchen and was pouring hundreds of gallons into the kitchen. This is the start. Hurricane Irma. This is just update number one. I'm out here. I was up at two o'clock in the morning. I'm just going around here in the dark. Because boy, I'll tell you, the wind was gusting. Probably about 50 miles an hour. Let me tell you folks, these mega lights, that little thing right there, that is one bad SOB. Waterproof, shockproof, focus. Has one giant battery in it, rechargeable lithium ion or something like that my dad got me this one for my birthday and it's bad 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 to the bone boy i hope so oh here's uh for this most southern point right there at key west and there's people walking around with their dog oh people taking pictures yeah, there, that's cool. Cuba is just, what, 90 miles from right this point? Oh, yeah, that guy got knocked off his ass. Well, if I'm going to trudge around outside, I guess it's time for the extra toughs. Extra tough. Deck boots. Come on! Alright, well, I did an entire tour of the neighborhood. Haven't seen any damage yet. But, oh damn. I'm gonna make myself a smoothie for a good breakfast before I possibly lose power. I got me uh, a banana, half a banana. Got some ice cubes in here. Let's see, a little apple cider vinegar. Just a dash. Beautiful black beauty, or what do they call them? Midnight beauty grapes. These things are so freaking awesome. I've never been a grape lover. A little seltzer water. A little OJ. Crap OJ, of course. Put a little apple in there. super smoothie. This has been my breakfast for quite a while now, but of course, you know, am I losing any weight? No. I'll just be maybe healthier. I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to see if the next time I go for my, uh, the doctor in November, I guess it is, I'm going to see if, I'm going to see if my blood tests are any different. Nutra Ninja here. Okay, this is going to be a little loud, folks. Before the power goes out. I hope it doesn't. I'd like to just get back to fishing. Alrighty. There we go. Mmm. Looking good, looking good. Alright, let's see. I'm uh, sitting on the dock of the bay. Wasting my time going away. Reporting from Jacksonville, Florida. It's uh, it's noon on Sunday, and I don't even think this hurricane hit um, Tampa yet. 
and you ought to see the kind of wind that we're getting already. I'd say right now we're probably getting some 50 mile an hour gusts here in my backyard. That way right there is the open St. John's River. Oh my gosh, it's really, oh, it's really blowing. All right, it's uh, 11 p.m. at night. The night always makes it worse because you can't see diddly. The wind at the boat ramp that I use in Mayport, Mayport boat ramp, right next to it is the weather station at the bar pilot dock and it's gusting to like 60, 65 miles an hour. Nobody's even talking about Jacksonville because the, oh my God, oh my God. This is unbelievable wind and the hurricane is nowhere even near us. It's down on the southwest coast down in, it went through Tampa or something already. It's not even near us. And I mean, this is some unbelievable wind. I don't know if the trees are gonna stay together. In my neighborhood, it's all about the trees. Hey, little, there's Mr. Froggy. All right, it's uh, five o'clock in the morning. I've only slept for like maybe two hours at a time and then I'm, I'm right up again. Um, I was up and down from hearing all the boom, booms. Oh, there goes the power. All right, I was just about to say, oh, now the power's back on. I was just about to say at the end of the street, not my street, but the end of the street, they lost power while I was outside. Right while I was outside, they lost power. Um, it is incredible, the wind. I, I don't know any stats, but um, I can't even imagine getting a direct hit here because of the trees. All right, I thought I was getting lucky. Power definitely out now at 5.23 a.m. And I hope people treat Florida the way they treated Louisiana after Katrina. Since this is pretty much statewide, this, this entire hurricane, statewide, everybody will be affected. I hope people treat it like Katrina. And what I mean is all that that you watched, you watched... Um, Cajun pond stars, you got the alligator people, um, swamp people, all these things put a focus, all those TV shows put a big focus on Louisiana, which helped in their probably economic recovery. Being in the business that I'm in, I'm hoping after all this that some serious focus is kind of put on Florida since it's the whole state. I mean, you know, when everything's kind of cleaned up, because now I'm out of a job. I mean, Northeast Florida, we're going to bounce back pretty damn quick after this. South Florida, Southwest Florida, it's going to take a long while. It's going to take a long, long while. But you can still come here. I mean, you can still come here and, and visit and have a good time and go fishing. So I hope some focus is put on us. I guess I'm pretty lucky. My house is still standing. My carport is still standing. My boat port. This ain't over yet, but nobody is up. I've gotten two hours of sleep all night long. We are not even close out of the woods yet. This, this wind needs to back off because something's gonna give. Something's gonna give. It's just gusts coming in with rain bands. I've got my neighbor's trees all hanging over my garage, my house, my boat, my truck. 
none of my trees are doing anything like hanging over my house. All right, folks, I'm at the Mayport boat ramp. Of course, <coughs> if you've gone fishing with me, you've come on down here and this is where we've met. Well, there's the docks. You hear that slamming in the background? That is the current over here. I know if I point the camera, you'll never see it. But right over there is the ferry crossing. And that is the current literally beating the daylights out of bumper pilings for the for the ferry. They're just sitting there waving back and forth in the current, just beating to death. I know you can't see that. But it's obviously low tide now. There's, of course, the boat ramp is full of sand. Can you hear that? Oh my God. Right here. Right here. Oh my God, right there. Just schools and schools of mullet. Little mullet right there. Oh, there they go. Schools and schools of little mullet all in the water, all the way up there. Bait everywhere. Bait is everywhere. There's big mullet right there. Well, it looks like the boat ramp actually fared another hurricane. I'm gonna go up to where the high water mark was. This is how far up into the parking lot the St. Johns River was. This always is a demarcation line right in here. Look at this. And there's the boat ramp way over there. That's how high this water came up. Well, it looks like the Coast Guard's got a bit of a little ponding problem. Huh. Ain't that something? The Coasties have ponds. What I was going to show you, here comes a shrimp boat coming back. There's that green buoy right there. It's practically getting pulled underwater from the current. Lots and lots of debris. River, river water was all the way up right here. Look at all the debris on the road. The water level was right here where all the debris is. And down here, there's some trees in the road. Well, I don't even know if it was truly a hurricane here or not. Here's a big tree that's just laying right in the street. Right here. Wind and trees. Now, if you live on the water, and of course it's storm surge and the wind. I don't think anybody, you know, had their roof blown off their house or anything. Well, hey folks, as you can see in this video, after Hurricane Irma, or what it actually ended up being here in Jacksonville, Florida, possibly was nothing but a, I don't know, all the meteorologic, you know, meteorological stuff that occurred because I haven't looked into it yet, but it might have just been a very wicked tropical storm at that point by the time it got here. So, um, as you can see from the footage, basically everything's good to go. I mean, compared to South Florida, uh, they really are the ones who, you know, really took a hit. Up here, northeast Florida, I would just say everything's looks like my front yard. Covered in branches and twigs and leaves. That's a lot of what's gone on up here. So my next uh, pre-book charter 
is this is the 12th, which is Tuesday of September. And on the 18th, I've got a pre booked trip with two passengers. And really, my only worry then is, is I'd love to be able to get some live shrimp. Uh, as you can see, I mean, down at the boat ramp this morning, I saw bait everywhere. Uh, from finger mullet this big to ones that were jumping out of the water that were over a foot long. So, uh, things had some damage. I know the bait shop wasn't open, and there's some neighborhoods like mine with huge trees. Right behind my house here, a tree this big around came down, snatched some power power lines, and landed on somebody's car, crushed their car completely. Down the street, I saw another tree come down on, if this was the hood, the front of a minivan, in the back of a minivan, it literally came down and creased and like wanted to cut the minivan in half. So there's some of that, but as far as the fishing, here's what's going to happen in the next few weeks. The tide and the current is going to be smoking. The water will be dirty. Will there be just an ungodly bite of catfish in that nasty, you know, uh, brown water and all the, for some reason it seems like when the river gets all stirred up, it sort of turns into catfish heaven. But um, that's putting baits on the bottom. That's, you know, putting baits on the bottom in the, um, in the river. That's what sometimes happens. So... I just wanted to point out that we're going to be back to normal or back to getting back to normal. So thanks for watching and I'm not going to say I hope you enjoyed it, but I hope you feel a little more informative of what's going on here in Jacksonville, Florida after Irma. Thanks for watching.